Today I wanted to talk to you about basically how I have been preparing myself to come back to a more normal life here in Sweden since our government have decided to lift a lot of the restrictions that we have been having here until now. And for those who know me knows that I haven't really been attending anything uh, for the last, well, maybe year or two. I've only been hanging out with my closest friends and family, and other than that I've been at home, isolated, not doing that much, not been seeing that much in public at all. I've not been the most fun person, to say the least. I'm really surprised that I still have any friends, because I basically have been saying no to everything that anyone has been inviting me to. And it's not personal, not at all, it's just been me being really careful for my health. And as a consequence of not showing myself in public, I haven't been that interested in my appearance. And I also have a boyfriend that loves me no matter what, if I wear just PJs all day or if I dress up. Um, he doesn't care, he loves me unconditionally, which is great, but it has also been a factor to me not caring for my external being. And instead of focusing outwards, I have been on an internal journey where I have just focused on personal development, meditation, reading non-fiction, personal development books, etc, which I'm really grateful for. But it's time for me now to get back on the horse a little bit and yeah, care about my appearance because I love, I you or I can say this, I used to love caring about my appearance before COVID and I'm not saying that I will go completely back to that, but I want to just tap into that feeling I used to have before like when I liked to, you know, spice it up, go shopping, yeah, change things up. I think it's time for me to take this lift of restrictions as a signal for me to, well, start to refresh my own style and just make a little bit of a social comeback, I guess. So I've been investing in a few things that are... I'm so sorry if you hear people in the background. Um, we have children in the apartment next door, so I'm so sorry for that. But yeah, I have invested in quite a few things which are just a lot of fun and I wanted to share those with you guys. So first things first, I have done some things to my hair. Um, and when I say I have done some things, I mean I have done some things. I've been cutting my own hair for, well, probably the entire pandemic, except for my mom, who has been the kindest person to trim my hair for, well, my entire childhood and adolescence and still. So, so I started to cut my own hair basically two years ago, I think. And it's always been like, I've been, only been trimming the ends, but I felt like I wanted to jump on this TikTok trend, which is not anything new, but those who know, it is a trend called like the wolf cut, where you basically put your hair up to, into a bun and you just cut it and then you just keep on doing that in different layers. And yeah, it turns out something like this. Um, so this is wolf cut inspired, if you could say that. I haven't done too much layers, but I did a few. I think it turned out okay, uh, since it's the first time I cut layers. I mean, it's lighter, way lighter than it was before I cut it. I got rid of so much hair and yeah, I just love curling it a little bit. To just encourage me to keep doing this, I also got myself some new hair products. These are two products from a brand called Budgie and one of the products are an all-in-one mist and the other one is the volumizing hair mask so i've been using this hair mask 
when I wash my hair just after conditioning it I just keep it in for a few minutes and then I rinse it out and I love it I think it's really nice yeah so I got that and I also have this mist which I use after I've showered just in my damp hair let it dry and then I put in some more and I use it when I curl it yeah so it's heat heat protection and like a serum all in one so yeah I recommend these then I was at Urban Outfitters and I also got myself a really cute hair clipper I'm not sure what it's called in English but you just put it in your hair and yeah it's cute it's very 90s vibe chunky and elastic and pink which I love what's next what's next so I also got something that I've been dying to try for probably a year now, but I haven't really dared until now. Uh, I got myself a skin roller and these skin rollers are basically just a roll with hundreds of needles um, that you roll your skin with and that causes like microscopical holes in your skin, which stimulates collagen production it reduces like fine wrinkles, fine lines, and it also, well, makes your skin grow back like more youthful, etc. And I've been loving it. I've used it twice and it's great. I mean, it's great. I already see a difference. And in addition to the skin roller, I also got just a sanitizing spray because it's really, really important that you clean it properly. So I got a sanitizing spray that is recommended for it. And I also got a serum called the Vitamin C Booster from the same brand. And it's all from Skin Roller. And yeah, I've been loving the serum so far. And it works really well together with the Skin Roller. And I might make a separate video about this if that would be interesting to some of you guys. This is something that you need to be careful with, especially if you haven't done any like needle treatments before. I used to do like Dermapen, um, which is a very popular uh, skin procedure where you use needles as well. But since like during COVID, I haven't been able to go to dermatologists to get it done. So this is a really good substitute for that. When it comes to makeup, I haven't been doing makeup for basically two years. Uh, I used to love doing my makeup pre-COVID and I kind of just threw a lot away since it was just outdated. I didn't use it and I didn't want like old products in my cabinet. So I felt like it was time for me to just encourage myself try new products and dare to be a bit more colorful um so the things that i got the first is the ultimate uh shadow palette from nyx and uh, this is so colorful i've never had like this colorful palette before because i haven't dared but it is so nice there is a few like shimmery colors even in it yeah it's really cute and i actually have some of the pink uh, right now on my eyes, which is really nice. And to complement it, I also bought an eyeliner. It's from L'Oreal. It's just the Ultra Precision Super Liner, which is, it's okay. I mean, it's nothing like extra, but it's quite easy to use and it's black and it's it does the job. And that's what I have been using on my eyes today. Then I also got like a brow gel. And I have never used any products on my uh, eyebrows because they have been like doing its own thing as they are. It's a clear gel from Maybelline New York Express Brow. I think this gel gives me just a slight more definition, like it just sticks the brow to my face. I don't know what to say really, but yeah, I enjoy it. It's fun. As long as it's fun, I will do it. Next up is the NYX Wonder Stick, which is a highlight and contour stick, which I saw some YouTuber use, and I just googled it up and thought, why not? So yeah, it's it's easy to use. I think it's kind of fun, and that's why I got it. Like it's dark in one end and it's bright in one end, and yeah. Then the last makeup product is the Super Stay Matte Ink from Maybelline. 
that's just a lip gloss or lip stain whatever it's called and it is in the color 80 ruler and i think i've had this before like years ago and i really liked it but i lost it or something so i just got it just for daily use yeah i like it so next up is actually some jewelry that i got to for myself and the first thing is this necklace it's a pearl necklace and it's clearly um inspired from the vivian westwood necklace with the pearls and uh, with just uh, the brand on it like the the icon and i think it's really cute i also got from urban outfitters just a bunch of earrings that are really really cute uh, very trendy with these things just hanging down uh, which i think can be fun to just add to my own style and then i got some some stuff from like it's like a street market um in central stockholm these are like no brands i know that they are like stainless steel so i'm actually wearing a pair of earrings from them and some new piercings as well i'm not sure if they're supposed to be in this position or on the same ear but i have some kind of nature vibe like nature theme going on so yeah i think they're cute and these eyes are so beautiful kind of spiritual looking but from like further away they're not very it's not very clear what they are which i guess is a good thing that they are a bit you know abstract yeah i like them Whew. um i just need some water i bought a lot of stuff there we go so the final and largest part of the video is all the clothes that i got when i looked into my closet like a week ago i just felt like i needed some new pieces just to complement my old clothes uh, especially when i'm going to work at the office and also like for dinners or like going out i have a lot of clothes i'm not gonna be hiding that fact but i feel like i need to change my wardrobe a bit i'm so happy about the pieces that i got because it's a mix of new clothes and second hand so it complements each other very well so yeah let's dive into it so first thing i've got is this very hippie 70s long sleeve it says love on it i've been wearing it so much yeah i think it works very well like when you're at home or even like a casual working day I love the the colors of it yeah it's very easy to style with just a pair of jeans skirt whatever and this is from urban outfitters the second thing i got from urban outfitters is this very cute tank top it says angel and it has these very cute straps on the side that you can just adjust however you want i picture myself in this in spring with maybe a jeans jacket or just on a night out <laughs> or in the sofa <laughs> just chilling it feels very charlie's angels as my mom said when she saw this and i like it i like it and i think it works really well with my new hair moving in to the third item from the same brand is this little top that i will be using when i'm going out for dinner and i will probably be wearing this during summer a lot it's very 70s the colors are extremely 70s and the details the pattern i love it it's so cute and i don't own that many items with these color colors and the last item i got from urban outfitters is this zebra top and i mean this is also from a different like time and i love it i can really see myself going in this for a night out with maybe like a pair of black leather pants or something like that a skirt and i think it will look popping i also got this extremely cute bag from urban outfitters i could not not buy it because look at it it is adorable like it's a mindful reminder as well i mean it's yin and yang like you need to have balance in your life and 
to remind myself to have balance, I will wear this bag. As simple as that. We are now moving in to the big bag of secondhand clothes, which is from my favorite secondhand store here in Sweden, uh, which is called Humana Secondhand. I think they do a great job at picking out items that are trendy and fun. They have a lot of different styles in there and I always find something or a lot of <laughs> a lot of things when I'm there and this time I got a lot of stuff so the first item is pink cute uh, long sleeve with small flowers on it I will be wearing this at work I will be wearing this at home I will be wearing this a lot I think it's really comfortable and cute and that the fabric is really stretchy that is a huge plus for me I have realized that for every year that goes by, comfort is becoming more and more important to me. That is the first thing I think about when I try on a garment, if it feels comfortable or not. Because if it doesn't feel comfortable, I'm not going to wear it, I'm not going to use it. And I have learned that from mistakes I have done in my past when I have bought maybe a little bit too tight jeans that I can't wear when I'm eating or I can't sit down for a long period of time and the same thing goes with tops. I, that time is over for me. From now on it's all about style and the comfort. <laughs> so next up is this long sleeve which is very very romantic I think. I will use this during the weekdays probably at work. It feels like something I would also wear at a picnic. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because the fabric reminds me of like a picnic blanket. I'm not sure. It feels very spring and cute. I love the stripes. Here is a long sleeve that I got, which is probably one of the favorite items I got today. The garment is probably linen. I'm not entirely sure but it feels that way and it has a few buttons on it and it has arrows going in both directions which is really cool I'm not sure what this means this garment but it is cool I will use this at the office or at home <laughs> like every other garment I have purchased the only black garment I got is this one, which is a very long sleeve one with like holes on the side, which has the, the shape of a flower, which is really cool. And you can tie the straps on the arms as well. It feels very goth, and I'm not sure if I am that goth, but maybe if I make my eyeliner extra dark one day or something like that, I think that eyeliner will complement this look, is what I'm trying to say. On the way out of store, I accidentally found this top. I think it's extremely cool that the straps are actually like chains. Not sure how comfortable it will be wearing it for a long time, but I just think it looks so incredible with the mesh and with the pearls in the front and then it's like details like small stones like rhinestones on the chains and i will be wearing this probably during some kind of romantic occasion like maybe for valentine's day or some kind of yeah for a date just a regular date could it could also be um such a cute color and I think that this color will go well with my hair and with some cute makeup. Continuing on the same kind of color purple, I got this long sleeve purple shirt-ish garment. It's very classic, like it feels like a timeless design that I will be wearing to the office and it's very stretchy, very comfortable. Last but absolutely not least, 
I got this amazing top. This is just pure joy when you thrift shop. It's, I mean, look at this. It's, it's amazing. And I got it for like $15. I mean, it's $15 for this like magic. And I love its earthy tones with like it's a bit of green in it and it's a bit of orange in it and you can even trace some blue then you have this kind of like threads covering it and just the details are magnificent if i could i would wear this all the time you can even see in the details that it is like some kind of some kind of like shells on it yeah, I could wear this all the time. Like this is, this is so me in one shirt. This is really me. And I mean, if I had to choose one garment, it would be that one. And I would buy that one garment for the same price of the total of the other ones. Like that's how much I like this top. For the thrifted stuff, I think the bill was around 95 dollars and for the urban outfitters items it was around maybe a hundred dollars give or take so i'm really pleased so i'm gonna wrap up this video now by saying thank you for watching i hope that you liked this video and that it was inspiring maybe to see the things that i got i'm not sure how the pandemic is where you are but hopefully it's getting better and it's going back to normal and Maybe you can find some inspiration in this video to maybe pick up some new stuff for yourself or to change up your style somehow so that you feel more confident and ready for just going back out there in the social life. Because um, I think we all need it. We have been sitting at home for a long time just doing whatever and Hopefully it's going to open up now and we're going to be able to spend more time together and just socialize and have more fun and yeah.